Following the methodology and approach that you learned in early videos in this series, you know that there's a specific process and some of the earliest components of the process are identifying what systems are out there, what hosts are live, building this nefarious network map or catalog of information about what's going on on the network, what's attached and where it's attached. Well, sometimes sniffing is useful, not so much to build the initial nefarious network map, but much more to complete the nefarious network map, much more to fill in the gaps around, I can't quite tell where DNS is from some of my early footprinting, or I can't quite tell whom is talking to whom. This kind of technique, sniffing, allows you to do some more direct observations, still without breaking the communications, without getting intrusive, but being able to get more clear, more defined around what's going on on the network. So be cautious about using that this as an initial technique to just start sniff, 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 because unfortunately it's going to give you somewhat random patterns in that case. It's not a great tool to try to figure out what's on the network and where it is. It is a great tool to figure out who's talking to who. It's a great tool to start enumerating all of the devices, how many devices are out there without doing an active ping sweep, without doing an active port probe. This passive technique is fantastic. Unfortunately, the limitation there is if you only use network enumeration by sniffing or only do network enumeration by sniffing, what you're doing is you're only listening to hosts that are active and that you can see the packets to and from. So you're probably building a fairly incomplete map. It's going to be a good map for what you can see, but there's going to be a lot of stuff you can't see. And that's actually quite a limitation. That's why I recommend that you don't use this technique as an initial technique, but as a gap filler. Beyond network enumeration, sniffing is actually an amazingly good data gathering technique because sniffing allows us to capture and analyze every single bit of data that hits the wire. Now, some data is protected. Some data is not very useful. Some, some data that's out there is not going to further our attack. But there are a lot of different types of data that we can actually use once we've captured to figure out what's going on in a network and get further information about penetration capability. So, for example, application-specific passwords. There's a lot of passwords that are transmitted on the network that are not protected or even encrypted in any way. Those kinds of passwords, capturing those is an amazing find. Capturing, let's say, an FTP password or a Telnet password or some types of email transmission and reception. Great stuff because they're not protected. They're simply sent in the clear. Analyzing raw packets gives you those passwords. And potentially, that same password will be in use for domain credentials or some other login that you can actually use. So if we're sniffing the network and we see that Fred logs into an FTP server with password Fred Jones 123 well we can try the account Fred for logon with password Fred Jones 123 it may work it may not that depends on human nature but it gives us a lovely head start and a nice edge on our attack further for data gathering it helps identify uh, share names and file names some of which we may not be able to see during a passive network scan or even a non-obtrusive but active network scan it will help identify usernames, domain names, system configurations, roles, and so forth. You saw some of this in the, in the earlier videos, but this is yet a further refinement and further technique to add to that catalog and complete the network map. 